About two years ago, I talked to you all about one of the spookier aspects of the Biden administration's huge infrastructure bill that will mandate the use of anti-drunk driving technology in new vehicles to be sold or manufactured in the United States starting in 2026. Now, the technology to do this actually already exists, and it's usually reserved for habitual DWI or OWI offenders. And it usually comes in the form of a breathalyzer interlock system that prevents you from even being able to start your car unless you blow on the breathalyzer first and it reads that you have not consumed any alcohol or at the very least that your blood alcohol levels are below the legal limit for you to drive. But of course, this system by itself is not foolproof. People often drive with passengers, and so if one of them is sober, they could just blow on that breathalyzer to get the car started and then allow the drunk to drive. So this anti-drunk driving tech that's gonna be mandated for all future vehicles will almost certainly function like the more modern state-of-the-art interlock systems that come equipped with a facial recognition camera that can verify that it's really you trying to start your car. And I also wouldn't be surprised if the video from this camera is fed into a neural network somewhere that analyzes your movements to make sure that you aren't drinking alcohol or getting drunk after you've started driving because that is a thing. If you've ever seen a vehicle with a bunch of beer cans or whatever littered around in the cab, that's what they were doing cruising around, getting hammered, like it's the 1950s. Now, obviously, drunk driving is a terrible thing, but adding more hoops that somebody has to jump through in order to start their vehicle can create a lot more terrible situations. It's almost as stupid as these smart guns that want to read your fingerprint or they want to get a signal from a ring or a watch that you're supposed to wear while using the gun before you're able to fire it. Because when you're in an emergency, the last thing you want to deal with is delays that are caused by technical glitches. In fact, I could see this thing with vehicles being a theme in future horror flicks, where the slasher guy is slowly walking up to a vehicle where his victims are, trying to start it in order to get away, but their frantic behavior makes the interlock think that they're all meffed up and they're getting ready to go on a cruise around the neighborhood to steal some copper so the car doesn't start and they get chopped up to bits. Now, despite these mandates being a couple years away still, the spyware in your car may come a lot sooner and for less legitimate reasons. Last year, Ford applied for a patent that recently got published called Systems and Methods for Detecting Speeding Violations. That's right. Ford is trying to develop a system where their cars are going to monitor the speed of other cars on the road, and if a vehicle is detected going too fast, it's going to report the speed of that vehicle and other identifying characteristics like its make, model, and color, and license plate of the vehicle to law enforcement so that they can decide to pursue that vehicle and possibly pull over and, you know, give the guy a citation or whatever. So in a few years, if you're driving a new Ford, you might be in a situation where you're basically driving a speed trap on wheels, a snitch mobile, if you will. Now, since this idea is patented by Ford, there are some people speculating that this may just be a classic example of patent cock blocking, where a company patents something that they don't actually plan on building, but they do this just so that their competition can't build a prototype and sell that first. And I actually think there's a strong possibility for that here because Ford already builds the vast majority of vehicles that are used by law enforcement in the United States. And the way that this patent is written makes it appear that the tech would most likely be used on law enforcement vehicles, even though cop cars already have automatic radar and smart cameras on the vehicle that can read your license plates and read your speed. So this patent might just be Ford playing 4D chess here in order to maintain their position of manufacturing almost all law enforcement vehicles in the US. But 
it's not too far-fetched that they could very well be building the snitch on wheels that news outlets have been reporting on. For example, most insurance companies have a physical device or an app that you can install on your phone that uses an accelerometer and other hardware built into your phone in order to make sure that you are driving safely. The device reports things like speed back to the insurance company, and the only difference between this patent that we're seeing here and the existing tech that the insurance companies use is that the patented tech monitors other drivers instead of you, and it reports to law enforcement instead of insurance companies. Motor vehicle companies are notoriously bad at protecting end user privacy. They're already collecting all kinds of information about where you drive, how fast you drive, how fast you brake, what you listen to on the radio, and the newer your car is, and the more computers that it has within it, the more data is already being collected. And ultimately, this data collection and the reporting of vehicle speed and mandatory anti-drunk driving tech is all part of the government's plan to get people to surrender their ability to drive their own cars. I've mentioned in the past that the most feasible way that I can see to do self-driving cars en masse is to have every single vehicle that's on the road to be self-driving and have them network together so that they can communicate what actions they want to perform like lane changes to the other vehicles instantaneously. Because if you think about where we're at now with self-driving tech, the unpredictable actions of other drivers are probably one of the toughest challenges to overcome here. So if you just make human driving incredibly inconvenient by making every other vehicle on the road a speed trap and you make the interlock devices in these vehicles sensitive enough so that they might even pick up the alcohol that's in your morning mouthwash and the camera then looks at your sleepy eyes and decides, hey, you're too drunk for you to do your morning commute manually. That kind of stuff might be enough to actually push people over the edge to just give up the ability to drive their own cars and you know even desire to drive their own cars. And as soon as most consumers are really convinced that self-driving cars are the future and manually working a steering wheel and gas and brake pedals are just a huge waste of time, the kind of stuff that only a peasant would do, then the industry is gonna follow suit and stop making those vehicles, just like how virtually every new vehicle that's made today and really for the past 20 plus years have automatic gear shifts instead of manuals. Just make sure that you have one of the last models of vehicles that can be switched back to manual control when the cyberpunk dystopia freeways finally become a thing and eventually get shut down. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it to hack the algorithm and buy some merch from my website, base.win, if you want to support my work. 10% discount store-wide for paying in Monero XMR. Have a great rest of your day.